Good morning folks, it's Andy M0DRN here. I hope you're okay. Well about uh, a week ago I made a video uh, explaining how I added a frequency counter to my uh, home uh, made superhead. And uh, this morning I was looking around the shack and I came across another version of the receiver. That same receiver which is this one. It's got exactly the same circuit but it's laid out slightly different. It's got the tuning condenser on the top of it. So you, it, it demonstrates a lot easier how, how the, uh, the, the count is added. Now this uh, homemade superhead is based on the SA602, NE602 uh, mixer oscillator chip. Uh, it, it, then it goes into a, a ceramic resonator on the output, 455 kilohertz. And then for detection and AGC, I use the ZM414 MK484 uh, uh, IC. Uh, so that's that's just that's just the receiver, the basic receiver. But the interesting thing about thing about it is is that I can show you a lot easier how to attach the uh, frequency counter. You can see I've got the tuning capacitor on the top here. You can see and the oscillate. Sorry, the the frequency counter is just wired in parallel to the tuning circuit, which is here. So if you see here. The tuning capacitor, those two. That's the earth. That's the earth connection, and uh, and the uh, signal collection of this uh, tuning capacitor. So the frequency counter is just goes in parallel with that circuit. So if you look at the back here, I've uh, presented the parallel circuit to the tuning capacitor to input here, output here rather. And then I just that goes to the connection to the frequency counter, so it just runs in parallel with the uh, tuning circuit. And the easiest way to connect it is via the tuning capacitor. So there you go. And so uh, if I turn the uh, radio on, I can show you how it works. All right, I'll turn the volume down because uh, you know that my receivers do receive stations. So just turn it by turn the tuner capacitor. You can see how responsive it is. There you go. Right to the end of the band, five two four kilohertz, and uh, one point seven megs. See that one point seven four two megs. So that's the range of my receiver. Just turn the volume up just so for a minute. Wait. But that just doesn't feel like the most important thing right now. The most important thing is, is just saving lives. Absolutely, and uh, and we By the way, really continue to say that we. The radio is connected to loops, so I had to tune the loop every time I move the dial, more or less. But uh, I just go to one bit of the band. So that's just to give you some indication how the frequency counter works. I mean, if I did were to disconnect it, it, it would work exactly the same, but I just wouldn't know where I was, and I'd have to put a big dial up there. So the frequency counter, uh, very, very easy to do. And uh, as I said in the last video, this is set to an offset frequency of 455 kilohertz, uh, which is there. So that's my offset, uh, that's my, uh, offset frequency, 455 kilohertz, because my IF is 455 uh kilohertz so then I have to uh, set the offset frequency on here minus four five five kilohertz so that's it uh, folks hope it's useful uh, just another little <laughs> another old uh, construction I found in the shack so I thought I'd plug it in there today and show you guys so have fun there folks stay safe Mike zero Delta Romeo November all the best for now cheerio